So for episode 11, I'm going to be taking you through a few compositional decisions that I'm going to make to really just finish this project off and get it looking quite good. So let's jump into it. Let's just play around with the exposure a little bit. I'm going to just boost that. I'm going to go to two. Oh, that's one. I'm going to go to two. That's starting to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And what I might do also, just to bring a little bit of light into this area here, because it is feeling a little bit dark, is I'm just going to have a little play around and see if I can poke some holes into um, what we've got going on here. So if I can kind of get rid of that one there and then move all this in, I can kind of create a bit of a pocket of light. Hopefully that will help. Let's just go back. Or alternatively, I could even have this one as like a window. It, it just feels a little bit dark now. And it's these last final parts of the project where you're just kind of pushing and pulling things. You're playing around with the composition, the lighting, everything all at once. And you're just kind of, you know, getting all these important elements looking, looking right. What I might do is play around with this camera composition as well. Um, if I go down here to camera settings, that's 30 millimeter. Let's try 40. I just want to play around with this framing a little bit. Hmm. It's good in a way, but it feels maybe a little bit too forced. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go back to 30. Okay, 30 feels a bit too far away, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this camera with Shift D, and then we're just going to move the 30 forwards. Yeah, I like that. And I'm just going to play around with a few more compositions. I really just want to get this into a finished, um, a finished state where I can then render and do an edit. Let's just rotate this around. Let's see if any other compositions work. Let's go back to the original one. Let's move this one up. Let's move this one down. I'm going to just try deleting one of these real quick and moving that little um, thingy there, <laughs> kind of the backing to it. And let's just quickly see what that does to the composition. Oh, it just doesn't really kind of, yeah, it takes your eye away from all this. But it might have some merit. Let's just move this in. Maybe, maybe it's just a little slit window that you don't actually see the opening to it. And then this plywood will just kind of come in. Let's just rotate this 90 degrees. And let's just put that there. Let's just see how that looks. So that's starting to actually be quite interesting. I don't mind that at all. It just kind of opens this whole space up a little bit and it provides a little bit more visual interest. Otherwise on the left hand side it just feels too heavy. Um, I'm just going to quickly play around with just cleaning this up I do think that's a good move and all this kind of stuff may feel like quite a hectic design change but it's actually pretty important to 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 not be too wed to you know original what it originally looks like 
um, because once you put all the elements together, you see if everything works or if it doesn't. Um, all right, I'm just going to line that up there. I'm going to line that up there. Let's just, just this one here, let's push this in here. And then let's just see real quick with that. Uh, um, let's just rotate this the other way. Let's just add a bit of a ceiling up here just so that it's not like, uh, let's just line that up. Okay. And I'm going to grab that line and I'm just going to push it up to here. Okay. Now this might be, this might work or it might not. Um, let's move that flooring in slightly. Okay. Let's just quickly see. I feel like that works better as a composition and like doing something like this completely changes the design so if you're doing scenes just for fun that's kind of okay to do but if this is you know something for an architect or you're doing this professionally you can't just be like oh let's chuck a let's chuck an entryway in here because the design's already done so you kind of have to you know you, you have to pick and choose and you can't go too far. You have to work with what you have to an extent. But I quite like that. I feel like that's a good move. What I might do is... Um, the last little bit here is I might just add... A certain level of thickness in here. Um, so I might just bring this over to line up here and then I'll push this up I'm just shrinking this for now and I'll change the the UV soon oh, oopsie wrong way okay let's just <laughs> Let's just select these two here. We're going to go into this mode and um, this one here is just going to go shrinky. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Okay, that's better. The reason why I'm doing this is so that there's a bit of a, um, like a opportunity for a roof there. I might actually just do this, so, because you'd assume there's a roof, some sort of roof thickness here, um, so this is quite a realistic thing to do, okay, let's just move this in, cool, and then this little ceiling thing here, I'm just going to push it in here, like so, let's push it back, lining up, I think that's a good move. So what is this? We only need this to be 300, so I'm going to change this to point 0.3. Okay, and let's move this up. And I just want to double check this measurement here because the, like, this can't be too, um, too low. Otherwise you'll bump your head and it's not realistic. So this is 2.4. Perfect. Okay, that's really, really helpful. Okay, so let's go back in, and what I'm actually going to do, just because it does affect lighting, I might just duplicate this real quick. Okay, and then I don't want any light to get in there. So I'm going to just duplicate this and put this up. Let's grab this um, backing material, and we're just going to put that there. I don't want any light to come through. Okay, and then this here, let's just bring this out. Actually, let's line that up, and then this one here is just going to come out to meet that point. And this is going to come in a little bit because we're going to see that backing material. All right. 
Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate this backing material. And let's just shrink this. This is going to be just the roof material. Um, if I can get the bottom of it. All right, so let's snap it to there first and let's just see what it's going to look like in the view. Okay. All right, let's go into X-ray mode and let's just pull it all the way to the end, end, point, end point here. Cool. Okay, let's move it down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, let's go into our camera view now and let's just see what that looks like. All right, I like that. It's cool. It kind of like leads you in on this almost spiral composition. So I think I think that's working quite well. What we're going to do next week is we are going to render this out and then I'm going to be doing some post-production in Photoshop. And yeah, we're, we're just going to finish this off because we're pretty much there. So I hope you found this video useful and um, stay tuned for next week make sure to check out my discord link in the description and also my instagram if you want to see the kind of work i do as a professional so i'll see you guys next week and stay tuned for then cheers